Hey, what's up everybody? So today we're doing something a little bit different. We're not editing the video. We're not putting music to the video. No special effects. None of that. We're talking safety, okay? We're talking torpedo heater safety. So we just did a review on the Ryobi torpedo heater. And last year we did a review on the rigid heater. Now, it's October 2018. It's starting to get colder out. You know, a lot of people are going out and buying these to keep warm. They're putting them in the shed, the garage. Number one question that people ask me when I bought this and put it up there, and put this up there, and even the reviews online, can I use them indoors? So here's the deal. These things run off of propane, right? Propane is combustible, which does a couple things. It takes the oxygen out of the atmosphere, and then it also puts out carbon monoxide. So you can use them in a garage. You can use them in a shed. You can use them wherever in the workshop, right? But you have to have ventilation, meaning you have to have a window crack or the door crack. So right now I have the window closed and I have the door open in the back, which is enough ventilation, but I'm going to close that and I'm going to use this. Now, please do not try this at home. I do this for a living. I use these all the time. It's a gas meter. It's going to tell us how much oxygen is in the air, how much carbon monoxide is in the air, and a couple other things. But the two things we're worried about is carbon monoxide and air deficiency. All right, so here we go. Now this annoying little noise you hear, that's the pump sucking in the air, okay? Now, what we breathe on a normal day, right, is 20.9% oxygen, or 21 if you want to round up, 21% oxygen, right? We do not want our oxygen levels to start going below 19.5. When we do confined spaces, we always use this type of monitor, making sure that we're monitoring not only the oxygen but the carbon monoxide, but other things like lower explosion limit, stuff that we're not really worried about right now. The only thing we need to worry about is the oxygen, which right now is at 20.8, which is perfect, and then the carbon monoxide, which is at zero. So I'm gonna shut this door, and again, do not do this at home. This meter is a professional meter. You know, we use these all the time. You know, we don't wanna see anybody get hurt. Well, we're gonna shut that door. We're gonna turn on both of these units here, and we're gonna see what it does when we shut those doors and turn them on. Now the first one we're going to turn on is the rigid, and we did a review for this last year. I'll put a card up there for it. Open. Feel the heat, nice and warm. Check that out. Love that heater. And we got the Ryobi, which we just did a couple days ago. Same thing. All you got to do is the power button. Now we got both of these going full core right now and it's probably a little bit loud so I apologize but what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut that door again please do not do this on your own I have a meter I am protected that meter will alarm if I start getting into danger so don't do this but I'm going to go shut that door and see what happens here alright so I've only had this running for about a minute not even and you can see that the oxygen is already starting to drop. We're looking at 20.3. Now this is a 12 by 24 area. And it will take a little bit longer for that to start dipping. But we're not far off from where we want to not be at. And that's 19.5% oxygen. Again, our normal breathing is about 20.9%. So let's keep this on for another couple minutes. Now you can see we're starting to register some carbon monoxide, not much yet, but it's fluctuating up to one and two. The more we let these run, and it's only been about two minutes, it'll start going up a little bit higher when it starts sucking that air out. All right, right now we're down at 19.8, 19.9, and it's only been about two and a half minutes. So you're seeing it's sucking that oxygen out, right? It's using that to combust. At 19.5, that'll start to alarm. Right now we're heading to where we don't want to be. And now it's looking at, there you go, 19.5, it just went off. Oxygen deficiency. Carbon monoxide starting to go up. We're five parts per million right there, six parts per million and so on. It's going up seven, 19.4. See the oxygen dropping, the carbon monoxide is going up to eight. You can see it right there, nine, 19.2. All right, we're shutting her down. We're shutting her down right now. All right, you can see. I open up the door, carbon monoxide levels drop, but the oxygen is still at 20, 
we want that 20.9 so we're at a low alarm and we're getting that ventilation in here as soon as that goes back up to I uh, should actually go off now all right guys so I open up all the doors in the window here and we're standing right out in the yard here well almost out in the yard but long story short we're still a little oxygen deficient you see how that thing went off right how long did that take it was about two and a half minutes and we're already oxygen deficient at 19.5 and when it went lower it started going lower faster and that carbon monoxide started to go up pretty quickly right at 35 i believe parts per million on the carbon monoxide this is when that alarm starts to go off right but i'm still sort of standing in that shed and uh you can see i'm still at 20.3 so i'm i'm still not up all the where i want to be you know that's still lingering in here right so you know, this is uh it's a pretty pretty serious thing here all right so finally we're right where we sort of need to be the 20.8 no carbon monoxide everything's good you know i had that door open for about five minutes now in the area that we were standing in where that started to go off um you know it's okay now but at the end of the day here's here's the deal all you know, i see a lot of comments asking can i use these in the house well first off no you never want to use these in your house if you use them in a the garage crack your garage door at least two feet right at least two feet to get that air circulation in there you've seen how fast and these aren't even some of the biggest units i mean it's a small one here this is only like fifteen thousand btu it's like 85,000 BTU, right? So if you got that door shut and you're trying to stay warm, you're, you're, you're not knowing what you're getting into, right? So this is why I wanted to post this because a lot of people I see online, can I use this indoors? Well, yeah, in a way you can, but you gotta be safe. You gotta think about what you're doing. Keep those doors open, open up those windows, get that circulation going and make sure that you're not suffocating yourself by a lack of oxygen, or carbon monoxide poisoning. End of story. So I hope this helps you. I hope this answers some questions. You've seen how fast that thing went off. You only had a couple minutes. And that's a professional. I mean, that's that's not one of those things you buy at Walmart, right? You'll get a lot of money for something like this. It's calibrated. You know, it's a, it's a professional safety tool that we use right here for you all. And, uh, you know, just be safe out there, all right? So if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe. Check us out at www.poorviews.com. We'll be back with more videos soon.